We start tonight with a water emergency being declared for much of the East End. Yeah, residents throughout the Twin Forks and Shelter Island now being asked to conserve. The main concern is having enough water to fight large fires. News 12's Kevin VC joins us live from the Southampton Fire Department. Kevin, you actually spoke with the chief there, so what did he have to say tonight? Well, Mackenzie, he told me that under normal circumstances, this department would show up to a fire and know for certain that there would be enough water inside the hydrant to put out the flames. But right now with this drought, they're not so sure. That's especially true during the overnight and early morning hours when much of the water in town is being used on people's lawns. We could definitely use some rain. Really good. Southampton Fire Chief Alfred Callahan is praying for some relief to the hot and dry summer we've had so far. The Suffolk Water Authority now declaring a water emergency in the towns of Southampton, East Hampton, Southhold, and Shelter Island. That means there might not be enough to put out some fires. When you have this kind of shortage, it makes you concerned when you pull up, does that hydrant have enough water in it? Officials say nearly 70% of that water is going onto people's lawns. Prime time for irrigation is between midnight and 7 a.m. So the Water Authority is asking East End residents to change their watering schedules. Water your lawn at 8 p.m. Water your lawn at 7.15 a.m., but do not water your lawn during that seven-hour period from midnight to 7 a.m. Water Authority Chair Patrick Halpin says you can also water your grass every other day instead of every day and shorten waterings by a little bit. Simple steps that could make a big difference. If we don't have that cooperation, somebody could lose their life when the fire department is unable to respond with everything they need to put that fire out. If we can just break it up a little bit, uh, every little bit helps. So for every house that's willing to put off their irrigation system one direction or the other, it's a little bit extra pressure in that system in the mornings that we could definitely use if we ever needed it. And the Water Authority is now planning to send inspectors out at night to see if anyone is watering their lawns during those peak hours. And if they find people doing that, they'll go back during the day and ask them to stop. And Doug, the Water Authority could also levy a $250 fine. Hmm. It's kind of interesting, Kevin, because you'd also think that in the peak of the heat in the afternoon, a lot of people would be using their water, but, but they're calling for the overnight, uh, uh, like, embargo. Yeah, most people do it during the overnight hours, so feel free to do it during the day. The good news here is you can still water your lawn. They're just asking people to change the time.